My name is Jared Farnsworth. I am 18 years old. I go to Marietta High School and my hometown is Newport, Ohio. So I work for a company called OCCO, which is the Operator Training Committee of Ohio. And uh, they originally train wastewater treatment plant operators and they provide uh, continuing education credits for them as well. Uh, they also do a little bit of dabble in the uh, global positioning systems and the GIS over the digital maps. And uh, that's the part that I'm with. And they actually created a um, normal internship. It's actually an internship for through the school year for me, which is the first time they've ever done anything like that. And I'm very grateful for it, for sure. Building Bridges originally set me up with them, with OCCO. And uh, so they let me know the internship and helped me um, work with the school system, too, to make sure I had time that was correctly scheduled so that I could be at school and then be here. I've personally found something like this where I enjoy doing the computer work and building these maps and then giving them to them. It makes me feel good that I have the knowledge to be able to do that. That's why I enjoy it. The other day when I was at the wastewater department, the assistant superintendent of Marietta Wastewater was asking me questions on how to operate the system. You know, it's the coolest thing ever, the fact, because it's always been the stipulation that if it's interns, it's college. And you have to be able to trust college interns because you can't trust high school kids, and it's just not true. My name is Hannah McDowell. I am 18. I go to Warren High School, and my hometown's Belpre. I had a math teacher, and she was telling me about job shadowing, and I was interested in journalism, so she just kind of, like, talked with BB2C and I got a job shadowing and then I was offered an internship here so I write articles, I do interviews, um, take pictures sometimes, <laughs> stuff like that. I love writing and um, I've always loved writing and I love meeting new people and sometimes when I do interviews I'll come in and I get to, you know, figure out what, what questions I'm gonna ask and things like that. It's pretty fun. My name is Darren Cochran. I'm 18 years old. My hometown is Beavertown, Ohio. Dimex manufactures plastic materials such as lawn edging, dock edging, all kinds of different landscape. Two of my buddies, my brother Dylan Cochran, and then my buddy from school, we both work here, and it's nice to have them here to help and talk to them. We learn how to run the production lines. We build boxes. Just anything out on the floor that needs help with. There's a lot of good people here. Everybody wants to help you and help you do better. My hopes are to get a good job that I like and that I'm happy to go to every day. A lot of things in school are more wanting you to go to college. And not everybody wants to do that. A lot of people want to go in the workforce as well. So I think internships and things like this are great to have in school. My name is Susie Zumwaldi and I am the placement coordinator for Building Bridges to Careers. So I work with the local high schools in Washington County and I connect them with business internships. There's so many opportunities in our region on, on employment opportunities that may not require a four-year degree. So, so really just kind of working with, with those kids and letting them know all the options that are available for them. Um, I think some of these kids don't have the support at home um, that, that some of us may have had growing up. So we provide that support and that encouragement and that mentoring. Being located in Southeast Ohio, we're not close to any of the, the larger urban areas. Um, so, so some of the resources aren't as available here that you might find in other places, some of the big cities. Um, and, and I think what we're doing is just is very unique for communities like this. You, you don't see this everywhere. We're providing an amazing resource that otherwise that these kids and, and even the businesses wouldn't have opportunity to take advantage of. We are very appreciative and, and we rely on the Voinovich funding and the other funding to help us do what we do. Um, these kids aren't paying for job shadow experiences. These kids aren't paying for internships. We're providing these services for the kids, for the community, um, with, with a lot of them not fee-based. So we could not do what we do without the funding. I think honestly, like they help you get to where you need to go, like they help you, I guess, build the bridge. 
I think the biggest thing that's most important is when I walk out of those doors, I have this experience under my belt if this is what I want to continue into. And I think that's what's important for other kids to know.